What's up? Oh, let me check the what's up. Yay. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to get on here and show y'all my hair. I spent all day, not all day. Well, like from the like afternoon clear to like nine o'clock working on my hair. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know why my hair was giving me so much trouble yesterday, but it was. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, I'm Lindsay Miller, you guys. Hi, hello, how are you? Um, I don't remember. Oh, thank you, Laura. I don't remember when the last time I did a live was. I don't think it was that long ago, but I don't know. It just seems crazy lately. So yesterday I cut my hair. It was like long overdue. You know, right, Laura? I love these earrings. <laughs> so, um, hi, Pam, how are you? Thank you, Brittany. Whenever I start growing my hair, this is gonna sound weird, but it, it, it'll probably make sense to some people. When I start growing out my hair, I get kind of blah. Like my attitude, it's like in everything that I do, I just kinda, I'm just not myself. And so finally I was like, you know what, I'm cutting my hair. So I shaved the side and the back. I just barely shaved the side just a little bit. Um, and then, man, was I having trouble, and I, and I stacked the back up, and I do this all myself, you guys, I was doing this all by myself yesterday, trying to f do the back, it's like so difficult, I had some girl cut my hair, and it was in Owasso, Oklahoma, and she totally jacked up my hair, and like it's so hard to find somebody to cut your hair the way you want it. So finally, I just started doing it myself. But ever since she cut my hair, like, it is so... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is so thin right here. I don't know what she did. It just won't grow back. And I'm like, oh, oh, thanks, Michael. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I was having troubles with the color. I um, First, I had to get all the color out that I already had. So I, was, I put a color removal on it, and then I did bleach. And then I did some other colors that I, and they just didn't turn out. I was like, what is going on? And then finally I had to put a really dark, um, I did a really, uh, like a shadowed root all over. And then I put the blue on. So I'm like, yes, it turned out good. <laughs> so, whew. But I was going to tell you guys, I put my hair through so much. And it goes through so much anyways, just from the color and all that. So I was going to show you guys what I use. Um... Because at first, I mean, this is good if you're growing your hair out or just taking care of your hair in general. Because, like, my hair is so slick and shiny. It was so staticky because it was just, like, it was, like, almost too healthy. And I had to put some Lange products in there to make it non-staticky because I hate their product. The way it makes my hair feel, like, dries it out or something. But, you guys... So I bought this from pharmacy. It's the keratin um, shampoo and the keratin mask. You guys, I love this stuff and it smells so good. So I've been using this. I stinking love, love, love it. And then um, after I get, okay, so I wash it and then I put the mask on and then I wash my body, shave my legs, do all that. And then I rinse this out. And then after the shower, I put the keratin spray on it's kind of like a conditioner like a leave-in conditioner you shake it and then you spray it all over um so i use this and then i go in with the serum you guys this stuff is so good i like usually i'm like shampoo is shampoo you know what i mean but i really like this stuff this stuff has like taken care of my hair so much i mean just looking at it like seriously yesterday just yesterday you guys i took I put color removal on it um, and that's pretty harsh on your hair and then I put bleach on it and then I put um, two different colors on it it was like a silver and a purple well the purple didn't take so and then I had to put a brown here like I put so much on it and I wasn't gonna stop until I got it how I wanted you can kind of tell underneath um, how the different tones are but anyways my hair is still in amazing shape, and I think it's because of this. I do use this, too, for, like, a heat protectant, but I'm out. So I've just been using this. You guys, I highly recommend this stuff, especially even if you want to grow your hair out. 
like we've got the garlic shampoo that helps you grow your hair right this is going to help you grow your hair just as well because it's protecting your hair um and it's keeping it healthy and no matter what here's okay so i'm a licensed cosmetologist okay so no matter what if you guys are trying to grow your hair out if you want to grow your hair out you have to trim it at least at least every six months because the longer your hair grows out the ends they break off you put your hair in a ponytail you're breaking your hair off you let your hair blow in the wind you're breaking your hair off you have to keep your hair trimmed if you're wanting to grow it out long you just have to i don't know if anybody's noticed like people with short hair their hair grows so fast it's because they're constantly cutting the ends that's why people with short hair always you know their hair always grows fast everybody's like your hair like grows so fast i'm constantly trimming it oh thanks jenny How's the weather here? Oh, it's just a little, it's a little cold, but it's not bad. It's not snowing or anything. So anyways, I wanted to jump on and show you guys my hair and what I've been using on it. So I need to order some more because you guys, I use the crap out of this. I love it. I wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. So I've been using this every single time and anytime like my ends look a little dry or anything i always go back and add some of this to the ends you don't want to put it up here but definitely on the ends because it's gonna soak that up so but anyways my new hair i was also going to tell you guys you guys i bought this lip liner i stinking love it so this i put it on my eyes too and then i put it on as lip liner and then kind of filled in my lips just a little bit and then put um this um liquid matte lipstick it's 206 you guys this is my favorite but i love it this is like my new favorite so this is the liner that i used it's kind of like a plum and i love it because this is 221 i like the purpley colors and it really brings out my green eyes i actually have hazel eyes but when i wear like a purple it really brings out the green in them and then this is the lipstick that i used aren't those so pretty together this is my favorite combo especially right now very like wintry i love it love it love it so anyways if you guys have any questions about anything let me know um i was gonna i was gonna talk to you guys about something that's really been bothering me so i know when i said you know i've never made as much money as i do working with pharmacy like i love making money don't get me wrong but my main focus is like empowering people and inspiring people and I would much rather have more of that than more money coming in. Like I am all about inspiring people and when it comes to my kids, I don't want them to be like it's all about the money. Yes, I've made quite a bit of money working here or working here, uh, being a part of pharmacy, but I like the fact that I can inspire people and empower people and that's my main focus. So I help people be successful, men and women, but I do like my team to be more of like empowering people and inspiring people. Yes, making money, but I think helping people and inspiring people is more of a, a reward for me. Does that make sense? I was having a conversation with somebody. Because I think a lot of people that's in this business is just out to make money and um, they'll lie to you and tell you anything to get you to buy a product, right? I hate that so much, so much. I hate that. So I will talk about products that I love and that I use, but I will not try to get people to buy something that I don't like that I don't use very often. I won't promote it because like I said, it's more about, I like people feeling good about themselves and inspiring them and empowering them. And I'm not out to sell a product that I don't like. And there's so many people out there, but I'm gonna let you know, I'm not one of those people. If you guys ask me a question, I will tell you the honest truth. So I wanted to tell everybody that because it was something that was really bothering me, like really bad. So, anyways, I love you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm here. I always have my phone on me. And I think that's it. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.